Hey, it's JC1424 once again with MX versus ATV All Out. And today we are going for some boogie racing. Buggy, boogie, booger, whatever you want to call it. We got ourselves a like a jet blue color with some white bars and everything. But in the last episode, we did some waypoint racing again in the ATVs. And I won the first one very easily. And I won the second one even more easily. Waypoint racing sucks in this game. I chose to do it and now I'm, I'm obliged to finish it. Or maybe I'm not. I don't even know. I'm full of shit. Let's go to single event. I'm going to go to open cross because, you know, it's pretty much what we always do with the buggies. And I think next time we're doing buggy racing, I might just go for some waypoint racing because they can make it interesting. I don't think the dirt bikes or ATVs can really do it at all. So we'll just have to save the open cross and the waypoint racing for the buggies. The boogies. So we're going to be racing at Bucking Horse Trail today. Now, this one is actually a really big track. I think this might be in the main area, like where they start you out whenever you, you get onto the game, and it just goes around it entirely. It uh, estimated time is two minutes and ten seconds. I'm guessing it would be less than that. Um, that's just like um, like a, a least common denominator or some shit like that for the lap times. So we're gonna do three laps in these races. For some reason, the difficulty is on beginner by default. I'm gonna put it on all time, and my competition is just gonna be UTV Open. I really wish that the AI could use all those other actual brand buggies that I can't use just because, you know, I, I haven't bought them, but in other NASCAR games, like, they have a way, like, all the AI can use DLC cars, but you can't. But every little freaking vehicle in this game that is actual name brand, you, you have to pay money for it by, like, what, two bucks or a dollar, and that, that's a huge waste of money. I wish I could actually, you know, buy some new buggies right now. I mean, there's some that are, like, the default brand the game has, and I could buy a couple of those, but still got to save up. Um, right now we're 15000 so let's go try to make some money. It'll take some time so I can actually buy another vehicle, but yeah, three laps, all-time difficulty, UTV's open. Let's see if we can get this done the first try. Bucking Horse Trail. That's a stupid name for a track. This, the map doesn't even look like a bucking horse. It looks like a, a dead squashed blob horse. That's what it looks like. Okay, so we're not using the clutch. We don't do that anymore. Why did my vehicle go backwards? Like, I didn't even press anything. Go! You you damn moron. I can be behind somebody that doesn't even go. See, I didn't even touch it. Maybe like whenever I picked up the controller, it suddenly acted as if I did. But uh, yeah, I think this is the main area. We've got all kinds of jumps right here going between the power lines and we're making up some positions, but I don't know like if the AI are going to be that much stronger racing on a track like this compared to what we usually do with the buggies, but usually the buggies, they just provide some really fun racing. I'm stuck behind John Guetta. I got a buggy in my screen. Alan Myers is all over my face, and I don't need to crash the landing somehow. Running fourth, so I see two of them in front of me. The leader has got a bit of a gap on those guys. Uh, I don't know if there's. Uh, I should be preloading some of these jumps or using the clutch somewhere just so I can get off the, get back up to speed again somewhere. But um, yeah, I preloaded right there. I don't know if it actually did anything. I seem to be having a problem whenever we're going uphill in the very first uh, buggy episode here. We went to Hurricane Hill, and it's like the, the darn thing just it didn't want to go, and I guess I should have been using the clutch going up the hill. I don't know if that would have helped my case. Oh, we're catching Tyler Svab. He's from Switzerland. Either that, um... Uh, how did I manage to crash into those guys? Oh, I was thinking, um, Transylvania? I don't, I don't know. What other places are there? But yeah, they, they crash into the tree, and I see them do that. I'm like, wow, they're so stupid. And then I go doing it myself. But yeah, my mind's over here going blank, because I'm trying to think of the other location that they get that name from. I'm trying to get into second. You go hit that tree. Wait, that was the leader? I thought I was passing second. Okay. Well, I guess I'll just show you me finishing the lap and then skip to whenever I do something stupid or we just win this darn thing. I that fast forward to it because I think it's a lot of fun just to watch somebody race around a track like this. This one really isn't that complicated. Still on the first lap. I think the finish line is coming up just up ahead because, uh, yeah, this is where we started. I see up there, this is the finishing gate. So yeah, I might as well just like fast forward to the end or until something happens. That is one big jump. Holy crap.
Well, I, I tried. I'll tell you that. I tried. Maybe, like, my mistake will cause him to catch up. I actually know the split is, like, 16 seconds, so that's not happening at all. What the hell? What What is this guy doing? Uh, I don't know if I want to leave it off on this note. You know, just doing a race that I thought would be, you know, at least a little difficult. But, no, this was pretty freaking easy. The only thing that was challenging was the start of the race. Whenever the guy in front of me just didn't even go. But then you got that guy a lap down. He's doing something. I don't know. Going the wrong way. This is a really big track. So to fall a lap down within just three laps, that's, that's kind of sad. Well, we're coming up on the end of the final lap of the race. So yeah, I was just thinking, this race is going to be so freaking easy and so darn pointless and got it out of the way, might as well go to one of those much, much smaller tracks that's in the same area because there's another track around here somewhere. I think there's like one or two. But, um, I, I can just get to the track straight from the mini right here. Horseshoe Bend, that is in the same area. Then there's also Misty Springs. Yeah, they're both of them. Uh, Horseshoe Bend is 16 seconds. And Misty Springs, 25. Well, Let's go ahead and do Horseshoe Bend right now. Because, you know, Bucking Horse Trail, Horseshoe Bend, horses, horses, all, all that stuff. Uh, we're going to go ahead and set it to 10 laps because this is a short-ass track. And we, we're going to have some fun. Hello, here we are. we got a cabin over there. And this is just going to be like a basic oval. This is going to be NASCAR right here. 16 second laps. This is basically going to be like a bristle motor speedway off-road race except with like different like hill levels and stuff. I use the clutch again. I, I always use the clutch whenever I play this game. Even whenever I'm not supposed to. Why are you not going anywhere? Full throttle track, man. What the hell? And they're all crashing into each other. Oh, these are sharp corners. You got people stopping and spawning inside of me. <laughs> a 10 out of 10 game all of a sudden. They're all just power sliding in here. And yes, yeah, the best way for me to win this race is just to Keep on maneuvering my way around whenever they just drive into the corners like that. Some of these guys, they get better runs into the turns than me. I'm not sure about how I'm going to win this race, but we've got a little time. Okay, let's use the clutch. At least I'm trying to get this thing to pick up speed better. Lacking a little acceleration. This guy's just sliding into me. Okay, come on, go, go. We're running seventh. I don't know about winning this thing on the first try. What is this guy doing? Rampant hay bells. This is a simple track. I don't know how you managed to fail that. Hey, I can't do anything. It coming to a complete stop in the corners, and then they spawn the freaking AI right in front of me, which kind of screws me over. Now they're all ramping hay bales. That's a three, three or four positions. Okay, go. I feel like I have to use the clutch whenever I'm going in a straight line just to get this thing to accelerate. It's kind of weird. Yeah, hitting the svab again. The cotton svab. Wow, that guy's got a lot of speed. I don't know if these guys have higher top speed right now, or higher acceleration, or just both, and they just suck at driving. It's all time difficulty. I can see them trying to just have better equipment than me rather than actually driving better. We're in second. I'm trying to close in on this leader. As long as he doesn't screw up again, he could have this thing won because I keep on getting run over and knocked all over the place. Just using that clutch back in a second again. This is a fierce battle. And he goes crashing into the hay bales. But he knocked one of them in my way. He, he stopped hitting me. Golly, I'm surrounded. I'm coming up on lap traffic. I don't know if we already have lap traffic and I don't know about it or what, but I figure we just because it's a short track, it would have happened so quickly. Ah, uh, I'm coming. I don't know if we're going to get this done. We got all these lap buggies in the way, probably holding them back. Come on. I'm going to finish second on the first try. And this, look at all that freaking horsepower. Look at that speed. Where did they get that? That's ridiculous. That's that's insane. Oh, we got people flipping. Why y'all spawn them in front of me? I'm in the lead now. Am I going to win? I won. Barely, I won. I won just barely. I think that was Lear that just flew past me going to that next turn. Someone's over here flipping in the last turn, and then I passed somebody because I guess they had gotten knocked over with the other guy or what. I don't know what the hell is going on. It was a messy race with the, the lapped buggies, and then people just keep on ramping hay bales off the side. I don't know if they're trying to cut the corner, but there's not that much you can do whenever it's all blocked off with the hay bales. Well, I'm glad that the horseshoe bent made up for the fact that Bucking Horse Trail was... But we're going to end the video off with my buggy going balling again. 
under the bridge. What a, what a great place to go balling out of the sight of pedestrians. Um, yeah, this game is that uninteresting. The, the most enjoyable part of the video is just hearing me say stupid shit at the end. See you next time. That's that. And episode over.